Let's sing about it, shall we? Page 128. Hine Mato. He never Shabbat Shalom. It's good to be together. I know we have at least a couple of newer faces. So I'd like to invite you all to greet each other. Wish someone Shabbat Shalom that you didn't come in with. Remind them of your name and tell them one good thing about your week. When we got home, my peach tree had exploded. So they were lying on the ground, half gnawed, but there were enough on the tree to save for the very first time. <laughs> it's a new tree. Oh. But we have like 40 peaches that weren't gnawed. <laughs> what is that one? Yeah. Wonderful. All right, my friends, I'd like to invite Karen Bressler to light our Shabbat candles. The blessing is on page 120. These Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them. So so may they inspire light, give light to all who behold them. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of their birth, their kindle light. So may we in our own day be a window to kindle light. Oh. Problem. Are they trick matches? Mm -hmm. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech, Asher hitshanu b'mitzvotah v'tzivanu We'll turn to page 131 as we sing these words from Psalm 96, Shiru Ladonai Shir Hadash. Let's sing a new song. Okay. 
We'll turn to our song that celebrates Shabbat, welcoming her in as if she were a bride. The words of Lacha Dodi are on page 138 and 139. We'll sing the first, second, and last verses. When we get to that last verse, we rise and face the door to welcome in the Sabbath bride. Yep. Lecha Dodi, Zikra Kala, Ben Nekshama, they <laughs> We are warmed up and ready to begin the main part of our service with the words of the Barahu, page 146. And we'll begin with a, a reflective question, making sure that we are present in these words that we're about to pray. Oh. 
You can be seated. We'll turn to page 148 as we sing our chant for twilight, our roll into dark. And if you don't know this piece, the Hebrew uh, starts one, two, three, four, five, <coughs> nine lines down, and you'll catch on pretty quickly. Page 148. Turn to the words of the Shema, page 152. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Elohim, Adonai Elohim, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Elohim, Adonai 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 
We'll turn to page 154. We're going to be talking about these words of the Via Hafta tonight because they're part of this week's Torah portion. So we're not going to chant it just yet, but let's read these words together in the English so we all remember, remind ourselves of what they mean. You shall love Adonai your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. Take to heart these instructions with which I charge you this day. Impress them upon your children. Recite them when you stay at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you get up. Bind them as a sign on your hand and let them serve as a symbol on your forehead. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Thus you shall remember to observe all my commandments and to be holy to your God. I am Adonai, your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am Adonai, your God. Adonai Eloichem Emet. We'll turn to our song of freedom, the words of Micha Mocha, page 158. <laughs> Ya <laughs> Mother, <laughs> la 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 as nighttime falls, we turn to page 160 and sing our nighttime prayer, a prayer for shelter and healing and peace. 160. <laughs> Shelter of your peace over us. Guide us in wisdom, compassion, and trust. Do I don't know? 
Turn to the words of the Amidah, page 164. If you're able, please rise. Adonai sepatai tiftahu fiyagitahi Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohe Avoteinu, Imoteinu, Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzhak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, Ha'el Hagadol Hagibor Bahanora, El El Yon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Vekone Hakol, Vizocher Chasdei Avot Vimahot, Umevi Gulaliv Nebenehem, Liman Shimo Beahava Melech Ozeru Moshia Umage Baruch Ata Adonai Magin Abraham Yezra Tsara Ata Gai Borle Lamarnai Nechaye Hakol Ata Rav Lehoshia Mori Patal Mechalkel Chaim Bechesed, Mechaye Hakol Berachamim Rabim, Sovech Noflim Berofech Olim, Umati Rasurim, Umekayen Memunato, Lishene Afar, Mi hamocha bal givu rot, umi do mela, melech me mi tu mechaye, umat mi ach yeshua, vene manata la hachayot hakol, baruchata adonai, mechaye hakol. Ata kadosh rishim ha kadosh, ukdoshim bako yom ya hallelujah asela. Baruch ata adonai, ha el ha kadosh.
page 180. <laughs> We'll turn to Seder Kriyata Torah, the service for reading Torah, starting on page 364. And I'd like to invite up Jonathan King, who will be our Torah carrier this evening. Please rise. In Kamo Kaba Elohim Adonai, Vayimasecha, Malechutecha, Malechut, Kol Olamim, Umem Shaltecha, Bechol Dor, Vador. Adonai Melech, Adonai Malach, Adonai Yimoch, Le'olam Ba'eh, Adonai Os, Le'amo Yitain, Adonai Yicharech, Et Amo, Vashalom. Page three sixty four. He mitzion te te Torah. He mitzion te te Torah. Udevaradonai mi Turn the page. Baruch Shenatan Torah Torah. Baruch Shenatan Torah Torah. Leamo Yisrael. Bikidushato. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Echad Eloheinu, Gadol Adonainu, Kadosh Shemo.
Thank you, Jonathan. You can all be seated, but not for long. So as I mentioned, our portion uh, contains some very famous words. Uh, it is Parshat Va'et Hanan. It actually has two really famous passages. First is the Ten Commandments, and the second is the words of the Shema and Be'ahavta. So we're going to we're going to do the latter. We're going to chant the latter. Um, and I'd like to invite anyone who has never chanted Torah before. This is your chance because you already know the portion. We sing the words of Ve'ahavta every week. Now, I know there are no vowels in here, but I think you guys can do it. So for the Aliyah, I'd like to invite up anyone, really anyone who would like an Aliyah, and anyone who would like to chant Torah, in particular, if you've never done it before, this is your chance. Ya'am du, kulam lalia la Torah. Oh, Someone's got to do it. I'm going to start calling shy. on people. Thank you, Jonathan. Come on, let's do it, Arlen. If you are too shy to come up tonight. There are some Tully Tote in the basket right by the door there. Um, if you are going to follow along in your book, in your Pumash, it's on page 1366. And we're starting with verse four. All right, come on over. You guys get the Aliyah too, so. Okay, Karen's coming up. We are going to start right here. If you want to touch and kiss, we'll wait for you, Karen. We won't start without you. We'll do the blessing first, like over here. Ready? Bar Huet Adonai Hambora. Baruch Adonai Hamborach Leolam Ba'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamborach Leolam Ba'ed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Ha'amin. Benatan Lanu Et Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai. Noten HaTorah. Amen. All right, you might not know the first part, so I'll chant it and then we'll join together. Amen. Shema Yisrael. Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Ve'avhavta et Adonai Elohecha. Ve'chol avavcha u'v'chol nashecha. Vehayu <laughs> Ublechtecha vaderech, ushoch becha, ukumecha, 
Ukshar tam laot al yadecha behayu letotavot beine necha uftav tam al mizuzot betecha uvisharecha. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher natan lanu Torah temet, Bechaye olam nata bedochenu, Baruch atah Adonai, Noten ha Torah. Amen. Yasher koah. Yasher koah. Chanting. Thanks, friends. See, it really is easy. It's so easy, right? It's, it's just like you've known it your whole life. Every portion is like that. Oh, not just yet. We're going to do the Mishpah. Thank you. You can stay up if you want. But So while we have the Torah out, a source of life and strength for our people, we'll offer a Mishpah, a prayer for healing. If there's someone that you're praying for tonight, someone in need of healing of body or of spirit, please share their names with us allowed and we'll start with our zoomers kent and karen rasmussen barbara lowe muriel and stephen gregg dennis elliott and judy martin uh, sorry david harris and yep. jim osborne joshua smith Ramuel Anella Theon. Going together, page three hundred seventy one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who bless the ones before help us find in the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. Oh, day, my pleasure to invite up our Torah lifter and dresser, Alan and Arlen. Please join us. And as the Torah is lifted, we will all rise. Mizo Tatora Asher Samoshe 
Sleep nay, b'nai Yisrael, al-pi Adonai, b'yad Moshe. Yisrael, ye Yisrael, be'orait ha'adhu. Yisrael, ye Yisrael, be'orait ha'adhu. Torah, 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 Hallelujah. Torah, 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 Hallelujah. <laughs> The <laughs> Can be seated. We have a guest darshanit this evening. Our sermon giver is Cheryl Cohen. She wears a, a few hats around here. She is the president of the board. She's a longtime teacher. She's a mom and grandma uh, and a few other things that I can't think of right now. But thank you for being here for uh, to teach us some words of Torah. Thank you. Um, tonight I will share an expanded version of the Devar Torah I gave at our Temple Beth Torah board meeting this past Sunday on the Torah portion of the Atanat. Hopefully my voice is a bit stronger than it was on Sunday. It's hard to believe that in one year, the next generation of my family, my grandson Braxton, will stand on this bima for his bar mitzvah and sign a selection from this very same Torah portion. The to this Torah portion contains two sections that I believe are the foundation of our Judaism, in addition to the lessons in Kiddoshim that we read on Yom Kippur afternoon. The Yetzanan means, I pleaded, opens as Moses describes his pleading with God to be allowed into the land of Israel. He tells the Israelites this, Adonai was wrathful with me on your account and would not listen to me. Adonai said to me, enough, never speak to me of this matter again. And as many of us learned in religious school, Moses did not get to enter the promised land because he did not obey God and struck a rock when told to speak to it. It was his successor, Joshua, that later led the Israelites into the promised land. Rabbi Jonathan Sachs of Blessed Memory writes, the remarkable fact about Moses and the rock is the way he observed the precedent. Almost 40 years earlier, in similar circumstances, God had told him to take a staff and strike the rock. Now, too, God told him to take a staff. Evidently, Moses inferred that he was being told to act this time as he had before, which is what he does. He strikes the rock. What he failed to understand was that this, that this time, it had the direction, the instructions had changed in one essential detail. He was facing a new generation. The people he confronted the first time were those who had spent much of their lives as slaves in Egypt. Those he faced now were born in freedom in the wilderness. There is one crucial difference between slaves and free human beings. 
slaves respond to orders, free people do not. They must be educated, informed, instructed, and taught. For if not, they will not learn to take responsibility. They respond not to power, but to persuasion. They need to be spoken to. What Moses failed to hear, indeed to understand, was that the difference between God's commandment then and now, strike the rock versus speak to the rock, was of the essence. The symbolism in each case was precisely calibrated to the mentalities of two different generations. You strike a slave, but speak to a free person. The message of the rock is not that leadership does not matter. It's that leadership must be of its time. A teacher may live in the world of ancient texts and distant hopes, but the leader must hear the music of the age and address the needs and possibilities of now. The Torah portion continues with Moses warning the Israelites not to pursue idolatry and recounts the giving of the Ten Commandments. Before recounting the Ten Commandments, Moses reminds the Israelites, The day you stood before your God Adonai at Horab, when Adonai said to me, Gather the people, that I may let them hear my words, in order that they may learn to revere me, as long as they live on earth, and may so teach their children. As Moses reminds our ancestors, so must we remind ourselves now how we must teach the next generation. From July 26th to 31st, I attended New Page, the Coalition for Advancement of Education Conference. It was wonderful to see seven families with two generations and one with three attending the conference, teachers, clergy, some, and even some lay leaders not only attending the conference, but in leadership roles. What a proud time seeing my son, Josh, sharing the evening music program as I had done 20 years before. The next generation wants to lead, but they must have the financial support of their temples, Jewish federations, and other institutions to do so. The sixth Aliyah of the Torah portion contains the prayer Shema, which Rabbi chanted for us this evening a declaration of faith and a central text in Jewish prayer. Many of us learned that the translation of the word Shema means to hear. But as a parent of a deaf adult and grandchild, the word hear has a different meaning. In the deaf community, there are several signs used for the word hear. To hear with your ears, if you're not deaf, of course, or to hear with your eyes, if you are deaf. But the Jewish community decided that neither of these signs are appropriate for the true meaning of the word Shema. Instead, they have, used to use, have chosen to use this sign, pay attention. Pay attention means more than just using your eyes or your ears. It means using your whole self to understand and to connect, to understand and to connect with God. May we too follow the teachings of the deaf community and use our whole selves to find a meaningful connection to God, and may the next generation take on the leadership of our communities with the support they need to do so. Can you hear the command? And we'll continue with the words of Eleni Lishabeach. Page 586, please rise. <laughs> Thank you. 
please be seated. Page 594, we prepare for the prayer of memory. It is a fearful thing to love what death can touch, a fearful thing to love, hope, dream to be, to be and owe to lose, a thing for fools this, and a holy thing, a holy thing to love. For your life has lived in me, your laugh once lifted me, your word was gift to me. To remember this brings a painful joy, tis a human thing, love, a holy thing, to love what death has touched. As I read the name of your loved one, please rise in their honor, and we'll have a chance for others to share the names of others that they are remembering tonight before we all recite Kaddish together. The TBT communities in the period of Shiva, the first week of mourning for Ruth Hill, aunt of Marishade. We're in Shloshim, the first 30 days of mourning for Danny Radcliffe, husband of Sonia, and Joe Beekler, father of Mark. And we are remembering this week those whose yard site, whose anniversary of death fell this week. Isaac Berenbaum, father of Babe King, Ir Israel Irving Berenbaum, brother of Babe King, Carol Bitter, mother of Arlen Bitter PV. Francis Cohen, mother of Arlene Hitchcock, Alba Gimple, mother of Miriam Azliak, Madeline Saltzman, stepmother of Terry Gladish, Carl Van Stel, father of Jennifer Van Stel, and Gina Yasvoin, grandfather of Zoya Kravitz. If there's someone else that you're remembering tonight, please rise and share their names with us. If there's anyone on Zoom, you can unmute and share their names. May their memories be a blessing. Kaddish is on page 598. Yit Gadal, Yit Kadash, Shemei Rabah, Ve'alma, Dibra, Kehute, Ve'amlik, Malchute. Ha'ekon <speaking in Hebrew> May the source of peace and peace to all who mourn, comfort to all who are bereaved. Together we say. Mm -hmm. Be seated once again. I'd like to invite Cheryl back up to give us some announcements from the board. Remember to check the weekly and our website for all our news and event information. I'd like to give a big shout out to Ann Bannon and Martha Garcia, who has been working tirelessly to update both of those um, sources of information for our conversation. Have you completed the TBT member survey? We're gathering information to enable our staff to provide the most up-to-date resources for our members. Please see the click here button in the weekly. It's not just a link anymore, it's click here. Torah time is back. Our beloved program from the Young Star community begins tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Religious school starts on Sunday. Please see our website for registration information. Save the date. Mitzvah day is coming to Temple Beth Torah on Sunday, September 8th. Join us as we clean up the temple and recycle items no longer in use. Thanks to Rabbi Sarah's husband calling all pickleball players. 
join the sport that's sweeping the nation. We are forming a Temple Vet Torah pickleball team. If you're interested, contact Anne in the office. Every voice, every vote postcarding along with the Religious Action Center of the URJ will be held on Sunday, September 15th. Join us for this multi-access event. This and much more can be found on our website and in our weekly newsletter. Thanks to Sean for managing the AV, to Janine Charlton and Karen Bressler for representing the worship committee, and Michelle Eisenbrook for sharing her musical gift with us tonight. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. I didn't put a thank you in to you, Cheryl, for being our, our darshani, because I thought it'd be awkward if you thanked yourself, but thank you. We'll close with a blessing for families and for love. So if you are with a family member, whether they are by blood or by choice, you can reach out to them. If not with your hands, then with your heart as we say these words. May God bless you and keep you. May God's light shine upon you and be gracious to you. May you feel God's presence with you. And may God grant you peace. Amen. Amen. And speaking of peace, there's some negotiations going on in the Middle East. I think they need all of our spiritual support. So we're going to close with the words, O Diavo Shalom Aleinu. Peace will yet come. Please, God. O Diavo Shalom Aleinu. O Diavo Shalom Aleinu. O Diavo Shalom Aleinu. O Diavo Shalom Aleinu. Oh, shalom, my lady, do. Oh, shalom, my do. Oh, shalom, my lady, do. Oh, shalom, my lady, do. Salam, 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 Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. We will join in the social hall for Kiddush and Motsi. And for those of you who are Zooming with us, this is a surprise request to our AV friends to see if we can turn the camera towards the social hall. If we can't, at least we'll, we'll keep our mics on so you can hear our voices. But please join us in the social hall here. Oh, well, here we go. We're making the magic happen. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much. Please grab some wine or juice or both.
<laughs> you don't want the wine, I promise. <laughs> Not a great vintage. No. <laughs> right. Everyone have some? All right. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Borei peri hagafen Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kichana mitzvotah Viratzavanu Veshabat kocho the <laughs> The Otanu Kitabasha, me call the Shabbat, the Ahava Ubrahatan, he Altanu Barulata Donai. Mikha Amen. Hi, Toby. We'll get some color. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, hamotzi lechem in haaretz, v'te'ahom. Shabbat shalom, everybody. Shabbat shalom, thank you for sharing it with us. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Shabbat shalom, everyone. It's good seeing you guys. Hmm. Can't wait to hear you on the fire. <laughs>